Okay, this is video for First Spartan Leathers website. We're still basically, I'm just looking at the website, just keep clicking on uh, and looking around uh, at the website just to see if I can see anything that uh, just stands out as, as being a problem. This is a, a, a actually a good page for content because it's written in uh, HTML. Uh, Although, yeah, look, I think David must have added that one. The, the, the owner of the website has got in his frequently asked questions page, your website sucks. Well, you're not wrong there. <laughs> how can you sell, how can you sell a quality suit for such a low price? Professional web designers and online stores are expensive. Yes, we are. Right, but we're not expensive if it works, and that's what we're here to do, so. <laughs> oh, nice one. The, the, one of the main problems that we've got here is that Zencar, as I've said, is built with OS Commerce, and, and basically it's open source. That means that it's a free piece of software. You don't have to pay for it. You can put it online yourselves, and off you go, and, and you're up and running. The problem is, of course, is that the structure of the site the main piece of the website you can't actually see. You've probably never even seen. You might not even know that it exists. And that's the database. That's a, a, an old series of tables that are holding all the information. And as people uh, click on a, a link that they can uh, visually see, let's just go to the online store, and I'll explain what I mean. If you go over here where it says body armor, and you click on that, what's basically happening there is a piece of code is going to a set of tables and what it's doing is it's picking up everything that's related to this body armor and which is these what is it six pieces is it two four six pieces and very few people actually see this database but the database is 95 percent of the website and there's a lot of things in there that if you are building a site this is why a custom built e-commerce store works much better than an open source free one because, of course, what's happening is you can build the site uh, uh, specifically for what you're selling. Now, there's nothing I can do about that because we're working in Zenka, but there are some workarounds that we can do. And you'll see these. These will come in much later videos where we're building satellite sites across using things like WordPress that are going to be just keyword uh, targeted for certain things. But, you know, we might not need those uh, because we, we, we might get enough money out of the site without using them. So, you can see also that we've now come into the online shop. Another thing that I'm noticing, we come into the online shop and you've got to go to the home page, which takes you back. And what it's doing is it's, it, it, because it changes so much uh, from, from, like if you look at the page there and then you go back to the online store, just click the wrong link there. It, it's like you've gone onto a different website. Now that can be confusing. Really, everything should be all the same. So, you know, we'll have a look at that. Also, here we've got login right at the top. So the first person, when, when if you read English, what you do when you read a book, you, your eyes scan from left to right. So the first thing you see is home, you see login, yeah, and that puts people off. We'd have to find somewhere else to put that login. Also, on the other side, we've got enter search keyword. Yeah, now the search really, Okay, it should be in a more, it, the search should be around here where it says Spartan. So that logo really should be on the other side. This is the navigation that I'm looking at now. Again, I'm not at that stage, but I'm, I'm just taking an overview of the website as how I see it now.